Well, what's going on YouTube? I'm Jason Irish. Thanks for clicking on another Dirt Road Outdoors TV video. If you're new to this channel, we are a hunting, fishing, outdoor lifestyle channel. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you go down here and subscribe to our channel. On this video, we're going to show you three more hunts from down in Africa, two impala hunts, and a blue wildebeest hunt. Well, let's follow co-host Mark Knight to the blind as he looks for a trophy impala. That's the Impala, and that was up close and personal. I mean, <laughs> I thought he was just going to walk in the blind, I'm for real. This place is so crazy. I've never been to Africa before, but I guarantee I'm coming back. Because you can just whack them, man. I was kind of getting worried about breaking our spell. We've been shooting so much every hunt. And uh, he, a big, nice Impala came right in, man, and I think we got him. Well, here he is. Here's the Impala. I mean, just check it off the list here in Africa. Dirt Road Outdoors TV. We're knocking them down. We're just whittling down the list of all our playing game animals. And here's another one. Just a, uh, just, I just don't want to say, man, it's just awesome. When you come over here and shoot this many animals in one hunt, I'm just, just pumped. It's great. Well, another great hunt from Mark. Now I'm up the bat. I'm taking the Sacco out. Going to see if I can't get me a big old trophy in Pala. I couldn't imagine being able to go anywhere else in the world and see as many animals as you see right down here at Comrade Safaris. You know, we'd probably have been sitting there in the perch for probably two and a half, maybe three hours, and, and seen maybe 350 to 400 animals. About that time, we look off to our left hand side and, and we spot a pretty good impala ram coming our way.
Man, that old Sako just dumped him right in his tracks. Oh, man. You sure know how to put a guy on him. Drop right there. He's still kicking out of him. I'll come clean my trophy. Right on that shoulder. That's why I dropped my <laughs> Yeah. Look at that. That is a beauty. Down here in Limpopo, South Africa, and this is already my fifth animal. Polly, you know how to put a guy on him. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well, I tell you, this one here came out and, you know, this gave us the perfect shot there and the old Sako dumped him in his track. Oh, he dropped right the <laughs> perfect shot. Day three. We're uh, in here looking for a uh, blue wildebeest. We drove in and they ran off, so hopefully they come back to feed. So stay tuned, day three here at Commerce Safaris in Africa. You know, when you come to Africa, you better have a checkbook and plenty of money because there is plenty of stuff to shoot. And uh, my list wasn't long enough. It's like Santa Claus. I mean, you just keep making it and making it and making it.
Sharp shot that blue wildebeest probably with 45 minutes of daylight left. And, you know, and after they shot it and they decided to give him some time, it got dark on him. So they decided to come back to the lodge, watch the footage, and actually see where that arrow hit. And, and these African animals are a little different than our animals back here in the state. Their vitals are way farther forward. But Mark watched the footage, and we all kind of decided that it'd probably be best just to wait till morning. You know, my old saying is, you know, uh, when in doubt, back out. And that's what we did and put the old tracker on him the next morning and... Man, he went right to him. Here at Comrie Safari, you get the best trackers in the world. We shot the wildebeest. We let him lay, and we're back in here again. Uh, so let's see what we can come up with. They, they got a good track on this wildebeest. There he is, right there. <laughs> But here he is. This was a heck of an animal to knock down with a bow and arrow. I mean, we had to let him lay all night long to <clears throat> make sure we'd find him, and uh, we hit him in the lungs. And uh, these trackers here at Commerce Safaris are incredible. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those three hunts. We had a lot of fun bringing them to you. Like I say, we're booked to go back to Africa in 2020. Can't wait to get down there. Hopefully you guys will subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time on Dirt Road Outdoors TV.